in this video we're going to show you how to use Excel to use options or drop down box or any form controls right to, to choose a group of data and we have the data about the variable health tech right technology here and we have the scores here for each organizations which is based on location on each uh, by country so what we're going to do we're going to do report right to plot the chart showing the scores here based on criteria right of the scores so and also the criteria also we want to based on the country too so that may be dealing with two criteria, right? <clears throat> so let's look at the data again. So we can do the score ranging criteria, right? And the country criteria here. And we know that we can update this table based on the score All right now this table we use count if just look at the range of data which is the country column and the criteria is based on the blue which is USA as a criteria so it's going to count how many country who produce the variable technology but not looking at the score now we go put this into looking at the score too now <clears throat> how do we do this so first let's test with <clears throat> understanding count if s so count the number of cells specified by a given set of conditions or criteria right so let's look at <clears throat> how to use this first go to the formulas tab more functions count if s and help on this function let's watch this video now you may see that this one using count if s which is based on the range this is the region right this is criteria range and then the second is just the criteria itself right so and the third is based on the order numbers which is greater than or equals to 50 so this is can be applied to our country right and this is going to be scores right with multiple criteria and this can be a score range that we're talking about greater than five which between five and six right and so on <clears throat> so we gotta do that let's just test first I'm gonna copy this table first and put down here and looking at the criteria range which is the country which is good right and the criteria itself which is its own country and this is the last criteria which we want to look at the scores right So this is the range of the score. So we have to provide a criteria range. And we're gonna change this to count if s, right? And this is gonna be comma. And this is the criteria range with the scores. And comma. Okay, let's test say if I want to say greater than equals to five. 
Okay, so it has to specify. Let's review. This using G2, right? Greater than equals to 50. So let me try to put it down to C32 instead. And C32, I'm going to say, put the criteria here. If it's five, so there are 10 country, 10 USA, right? 10 companies in the USA, right? That has a score of five. If I do greater than five, so there's seven. So if I also want to include five, there's 17, right? So we can do, now we can see that we can have apply two criteria. But <clears throat> this criteria, we can use the form control to selecting it, right? So let's say form control is going to be a drop down box. So we can go to add the drop down box. So if we want to use drop down box, we have to find where we can add that, okay? It should be in the data validation and now you guys change it to custom one second it should have the pick list and you probably have to specify the scores Now, we need to type that up, okay? So let's type this score first. And put it somewhere that, okay, let's see if we go put it around here. So greater than equals to five, four, three, two, one, something around that ranging of the score. Alright, so I'm going to say this is where we start to put the uh, select, right? Scores. And let's put a style here, then we know I'm going to move this to the right. Then we can adjust this, not affecting to this column. Um, let's change the style a little bit to make it uh, look distinct. And let's adjust the styles here. All right, so now let's put the values, right? This is going to be greater than equals to five, right? And this is going to be five uh, and six, right? between four and five, right? So greater than, greater than equals to four, and less than equals to, less than five, right? And less than five. Now we have to make sure how we use and in Excel. So we got to modify this a little bit to make it as a range between like five, six, four, five. So I'm going to call select the score range. And this is score, right? Has to be 
between, right? Greater than or equals to five, right? Score is greater than or equals to five. And score also have to be less than. So when it's greater or equal to five, it's pretty much less than six, right? Let me just move this somewhere, maybe here. Okay. And this is the actual values. So less than five, right? <clears throat> Greater than equals to three, which is less than four, right? And greater than equals to two, which is less than three. And greater than equals to one, which is less than one. So we want to do, look at the range right there, right? Then this will pick up greater than five, four, three, two, and one, right? You may see that. Because we do the range, let me zoom in a little bit. Right, you see that. And same, I need to set this to be a drop down box here to the range which is data validation and switch to list type and sources which is the ranges here and hit OK now you can select okay score between right five and six right so that's that's the point I try to show here you can make it the same size, 8.38. Okay, and now this one, let's increase a little bit. We just, pretty much just right click and hide this. See that? All right, so we put a styles here, put it in the same style then. At the cell styles. Okay. All right, so now <clears throat> instead of doing this, <coughs> we now can, because this one I just do testing, all right? I can just technically modify this, copy this formula, and modify this. And instead of depending on C32, I'm going to make it depending on this cell instead. All right, V2. And same, because that's why I just do testing. And this. All right, so. You now may see we don't need this row anymore. This is just for me to test the data for the formula count if s, right? Which, of course, because we do reference, we just need to update this a little bit. This is going to reference back to this criteria, right? And then we start to make sure this is going to stay the same way to act to copy the formula to the right. We want to make sure we put the dollar signs in front. They, then they all stay the same. We talk about the concept of dollar signs here. Right. That C27 we still wanted to update. The rest should stay the same. And then we can just start to drag the formula to the right. And now, once I switch the criteria to see the range, it will update my table based on the range that I want, which is there's no such between that. But between four and five, data is updated, graph is updated, right? Like greater than or equals to one, less than five, or less than three. There's no such that information. Uh, I may need to look at two.